This is for um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces ladies for the remainder of uh, um, August. <laughs> Almost said October. I don't know. Maybe something happened in October of last year. Um, so Cancer Pisces Scorpio ladies, um, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Get you on the next one, hopefully. Um, also check your other placements, your moon sign rising and venus as well um if you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me please ouch please check the description box below um okay let's get started let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> spirit what messages thank you spirit Okay. What else? What uh, what messages do you have for my water sign, ladies? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What messages do you have for my water sign, ladies? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, please. What messages do you have, please, Spirit? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so you or somebody else that you're dealing with or is really trying to come out of some type of restriction here okay maybe a restricted type of focus can't really see the forest for the trees and maybe they feel like it's it you or somebody else is feeling like their focus is really narrow okay But then here you are, water signs, the water fairy, but in the reverse. Are you overly emotional right now or are you trying to deny them? Not able to focus because you're overly emotional or you feel like your focus is restricted because you can't um, tap into your emotion or you're not allowed to express your emotion right now? Not that you're not allowed, but maybe someone doesn't want to hear it is what I'm saying. Or maybe this is somebody else. Okay, then you also have the cow here, which talks about nourishment, abundance, asking for uh, asking for help or receiving help. Um, you could also be dealing with a Taurus type of energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe you are trying to take more of a grounded approach in your emotions, or maybe this is what someone else is trying to do, take a more grounded approach, or someone could be saying this to you, or you could be telling somebody else that they need to get more grounded in their emotions. Either they need to dive into their emotions or just get more grounded in them. Okay, let's see what else what other messages do you have for um water sign please okay well you got movement in reverse so there's been a lot of stagnant in energy and that could also be clouding someone's focus feeling restricted not allowed to move maybe <coughs> or maybe once this is until the restriction is lifted and movement is allowed to flow. So getting into like your flow state, you can't focus. Or somebody is not able to focus. Okay, anything else, please, for my water sign ladies? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, please. For anything else you'd like to share, please, Spirit? Ooh, thank you. Okay, well, the truth and trust. So I feel like there can't be movement in a situation or in a relationship until there is truth within ourselves and then the other person does the same thing. But then also truth in the dynamic and communication and trust. You can't build a friendship without trust. You can't build a relationship without trust and friendship. And you can't build more love without truth, friendship, or trust, truth, and friendship. So this seems like there's a lot of... Um, or it could be, too, that somebody, it feels like they're trapped and not able to move. Um, they're, wanting, they're, they're, wanting, they're trying to come out of restrictions here. They're trying to focus on what they need to focus on. But because they keep getting wrapped up in their feelings and emotions, or they're trying to actually detach from them so they can focus. But it, it feels like they just kind of keep get someone keeps getting wrapped up in their emotions here. Okay, let's pull some, let's see what else this is about. Can you tell me why is there, Spirit, can you tell me why there is no movement right now, please, Spirit? Why is there no movement, please, Spirit? Show me movement in reverse, please, Spirit. Why is there mo movement in reverse? Oh, okay, here we go. So you got the queen of the light in reverse. So illumination, illumination, and celebration. So there can't be movement for because there, there needs to be something that needs to be discussed or brought to the light. So... The sand in the light of your own truth so there can be trust. 
Okay, show me what this truth is, please, Spirit. What is this? Okay. You got the prison wave. So self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness, so lack mentality. Okay, so someone feels trapped. Like, it's almost like in a prison of their own making. So also you have here the web weaver. So there is a law of cause and effect command. Possibly could be some type of karmic situation that someone is needing to try to move through or both of you. And then you have the desert prince. So I'm getting strong Leo here, but it doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. the, there needs to be a balance in truth here. Okay, there needs to be a balance in truth. Someone is trapped by the web, the web that the web that they weave. Okay, and it's making them feel trapped. There needs to be some type of truth here. Possibly with a Leo, or if you're dealing with a Leo, that Leo needs to deliver truth to you. Okay, but it doesn't have to be that sign. So let's see. Show me trust, please, spirit. Why is trust here for my water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or if you have Leo in your chart, this could be you getting truth with yourself. Then you have the wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise in reverse. So somebody here has not been somebody that has been trustworthy. And I feel like someone here isn't going to be able to give that type of trust until that trust is earned. Now this could be you or the other person, okay? Now I also, you could be dealing with a, I'm also getting Sagittarius as well, but it doesn't have to be. Can you please, um, let's see. Can you please tell me more? Can you show me the partner of um, Leo? Or Leo. Excuse me. You could be dealing with Leo. But can you please show me? Or you are a Leo. Can you please show me the partner on this side of the water signs, please? Okay. Well, you got the King of Wands in reverse. So someone is basically attention-seeking, can't tame their lust, um, overindulgent in sex, uh, player, manipulative, cunning, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anything else about this partner, please? Can you tell me more about this partner that water signs are dealing with? Well, you got the Knight of Cups in reverse, so someone who's very charming, silver-tongued, can basically talk their way out of anything here. Okay. All right, let's see. Tell me more. Why is the king... It also can be someone who can be um, sexually impulsive or um, I'm getting sex addiction as well. Um, can you please tell me about the... Can you please tell me about the king of wands reverse, please, spirit? Okay, we well, got the temperance in reverse, so not able to heal. Okay, so this is someone who's very disruptive, very chaotic, um, not willing to heal, not work on things towards healing. And then you also have the Seven of Wands. You have someone who's very, very defensive. Um, let's see. What are they defensive about? What are they? What are... Show me the Seven of Wands. What are they defensive over? Show me the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit. Why are they defensive? Thank you. Well, you got the Seven of Swords in reverse. About, they're defensive about getting caught. Lying, cheating, stealing. Okay, so this is not you. This is the partner. I mean, take... Take whatever, you know, it could, it could be you, it could be this person. So someone is very defensive over getting caught. You got two sevens, so 77 there. Anything else, please? Possibly, okay. Now you got the sun in reverse, which is a Sagittarius. I mean, I'm sorry, a Leo. They could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So someone is trying to keep from getting caught with the sun card in reverse. And they're also, by doing so, they're self-sabotaging, keep away their own happy um, this is also a, a strong Leo card. Anything else about this person? Um, Six of Cups could be about someone from the past. They could have been, they're keeping something hidden about the past or that they were cheating with someone from the past. Okay, anything else, please? Anything else about Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio's partner? Okay, anything else? Okay, hold on. Strength card in reverse. This is the actual Leo card. <clears throat> so this is someone who is a who cannot tame their lust, who doesn't have self control, who doesn't have self discipline, but also someone who um, who abuses their power. The bottom of the deck we got the can the hangman card, which means needing to gain a new perspective. Also, the card of Pisces. So it could have been somebody. They could have been missing with a Pisces, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. 
Let's see. Anything else about this water, the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, partner or love interest? Anything else? Okay. Well, you got the hierophant here. If this is someone who isn't committal, who was doesn't isn't going to commit, or possibly going through a split a split up breakup divorce, someone who doesn't listen to authority. They had a lot of fast communication here, passionate communication, even travel. Um, they were taking on the energy of the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again. Very in and out type of energy, kind of player energy as well. Fiery, passionate. But then you also have the Five of Wands here, um, which talks about competition, game playing, rivalry, competitiveness. Um, then you also have the Queen of Wands here, Sagittarius. That is the other woman card. So the other woman could have been a Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing water signs with the Sagittarius. Or, like I said, take it, switch it up. It also applies for same-sex relationships, okay? Take it how it resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't, do not make it fit, okay? Let's take a look at your side. Show me water signs, please, Spirit. Show me Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this side. Okay, what is going on with them? Please show me their side. Okay, well, we got the Six of Wands in reverse, so not having victory or an empty victory. Okay, let's see. Anything else, please, Spirit? Show me. Okay. And then you got the Three of Swords in reverse. So if this hasn't happened already, it's about to happen, or you're about to find something out, or your partner is. And there, it's going to be an empty victory or not having a victory. And, but it's also a victory at the same time because Three of Swords talks about recovering from heartbreak. Bottom of the deck, you got Four of Wands in reverse, not committing, not celebrating, not. Oh no, that is the marriage card, not getting married. And you also have the Page of Swords Libra energy because. You, or possibly this person, but you went spying and stalking, basically, or searching on the internet, saw some type of communication, or some type of post, Libra energy here, saw something which caused a Ten of Swords energy, so heartbreak, severe being stabbed in the back, <sighs> okay, anything else, please, Spirit, anything else for my water signs? And so you're, you were fighting, you're fighting about it, but I don't, I don't know if you're going to keep fighting because there is a winner and a loser here. Let's see anything else. You got to ask what you're fighting for. It looks like you're still holding on right now. Okay. And then you have the ace of wands in reverse here. So not having any passionate beginnings, not having that new endeavors, not having creative ideas, not having sex. Then you have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, so not feeling independent, not being single. This also Virgo energy, so you got fire, Earth and Fire. I'm sorry, Fire and Earth. So needing to get stable, needing to get grounded here. Okay. Anything else for my water signs on this side, on their side, please, Spirit? Okay. Then you have the Five of Cups in reverse, so it looks like you are not going to be crying over spilled milk anymore, and that you are actually going to be getting over it like coming out of depression coming out of anxiety okay letting it go moving on anything else for the water sign side cancer pisces scorpio thank you ace of cups if you do this you're going to have that come in for you the ace of cups so that's new love new abundance okay anything else please okay remember to kind of this is the self-imposed prison this is what you have. You need to come out of this. This talks about you just really being stuck in your head, willfully blindfolding yourself. You see how she's tied up very loosely, but she can just release herself at any moment. you got to make the decision or not make the decision. It's up to you or this person to really release themselves from, from their own personal prison here. And then you can have the Ten of Cups. So that could be a uh, you know, happy life, happy wife, happy hubby, the puppies. Whatever your preference is, whatever makes you happy, you'll have it. You'll, you'll, you'll have it. Okay. Anything else about this? Anything else about this, please? Okay. Well, you got the Ace of Swords here in reverse. So make sure that you are honest with yourself. And if you are being dishonest to this person, you need to come clean about it. If they're being dishonest with you, they need to come clean about it with you before it's too late. Okay. Let's see. Because you got some beautiful stuff coming, but it, you know. Anything else, please, for the water signs? Thank you. Okay. You got the Nine of Cups in reverse. You got the Wish. Um, which is not being fulfilled here. Someone being lazy or greedy, weight gain, wanting something for nothing. They're not delivering on the promise. They're not delivering truth and clarity here. So someone's going to be saying, here, I don't want it no more. Walk away. Boom, done. All right, let's see. Anything else, please? Thank you. Nope. Four of cups in reverse. I'm not taking it. 
or trying to get a new perspective. Maybe, maybe I'll look at it. Maybe I'll think about it, but I don't know. Okay, let's see. Anything else about this place? Okay, well, there's definitely gossip in there. It looks like there is a third party here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you or this could be another water sign that's involved here. There's some type of gossip here about this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Show me the Three of Cups in reverse, please, Spirit. Why is this? Let me get a different deck. Show me the Three of Cups, please. Why is this here? Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse for my water signs? Show me the Three of Cups in reverse, please, Spirit. Well, you got the page of wands. This is news. This is communication. This is um, taking action. News about a third party. Also, it could be gossiping. Passionate. Yep, about a queen of cups. For me, it's very strong. Pisces or cancer. So there should be, there might be news. Or you could be receiving this news about this person. Again, you have the three of cups in reverse. Third party energy. The third party Either you're a third party or your person has a third party. Or you yourself have a third party that's also a water sign. Because then you got the hangman in reverse needing to get into perspective, not seeing it. Another Pisces card. So strong Pisces here. So let's see. Anything else about this, please? King of Wands in reverse. Again, Leo energy. Strong Leo energy. Uh, abuse of power, sexual impulsiveness, can't tame desires, uh, attention seeking, needing that attention, validation outside of themselves, pleasure seeker. Yep. Anything else about this, please? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Cups in first. Again, came out together again. So someone's very much silver tongue. Someone's very slick rick. You get the Ace of Wands that came out. So that talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, new passion begin beginnings, what creating, creation, sex, fiery, passionate sex, the wands. If you catch my drift here, anything else, please, Spirit? Anything else for my water signs, please? Okay. Okay, but you're going to be recovering from heartache, from third party situations, from being your heartbreak. You've got like four threes here. You got four threes. Okay, you might want to look that up and see what that means. So it might hold an additional message for you there. Okay, let's see. What is a potential outcome of the situation? What is a potential outcome with this person, with a with water sign's partner? Blockages. You're going to have a lot of blockages. They're going to be blocked. Blocked communication. You might be blocking their communication. They might go either they're going to be blocking communication with you or you're going to be blocking communication communication with them because uh yeah because someone's uh, abusing their power it's a heavy burden to anything else about this person please you know, needing to find direction with the compass there anything else okay what's coming up first yep yeah, this is the key to freedom here um they're gonna try to find a way to escape or they they want to try, quote unquote find a way to escape or they could be thinking this way about you uh, moving on to more stability, um, coming out of some type of confusion with this, you yeah. know, wanting to work on something, but this is the key is to, to be, to be free. A gilded cage is still that a cage. Okay. Um, they could be feeling this way about you or you to them. Let's see. You got the tree talks about family roots, communication with the three birds there. Seven of hearts is seven of cups. So it could be confused communication, many choices. Anything else about their, this person, please. A messenger arrives, the writer, a nine of cups, talks about indulgence as well. So someone was indulging in communication. Anything else, please? They need to end that, possibly with a Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. But nine of uh, diamonds is not a pentacle. So someone was communicating, needing to put it into some type of communication, saying that they were single, needed to transform it. Anything else, please, Spirit, about this person? Anything else, please? Thank you. Well, message of concern there. Some either this person is getting the message and they're worried, or you're getting the message and they see that you're worried about this, that you're not happy about it. Bottom of the deck, you got the house in reverse. Okay, so stability in reverse, gonna be a loss of stability. Okay, anything else for closing outcomes, possibly? So you got the moon card in reverse, so things are gonna be illuminated, and then you got the concern card in reverse, so you're not gonna be concerned about it anymore. 
or you could be thinking this way about them. Anything else also could be something came out about something's coming to light about a Pisces, possibly a third party, or you Pisces. Could something could be coming out about you. Then you have the concern card in reverse, so someone's not concerned about it. Anything else? Okay, it could be someone who isn't not really getting your storybook ending here. And then with the um, page of swords here reverse, so someone isn't being very honest and they're being very, very sneaky with their searching, I guess. But they're also not delivering clear messages. Anything else, please? Ooh. Well, 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 here we go. Seven, uh, excuse me, the snake card with the queen of wands. Sagittarius energy, but can be any sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is the other woman card. The other woman, if you are the other woman, your spine is stalking. Or if your person has another woman, whatever their sexual preference is, they are spying and stalking. So let's get some oracle cards real quick about what you can do. Actually... Let's get some final messages real quick with these. Okay, Spirit, any final messages for my water sign ladies? Aries, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also could be dealing with an Aries. Cancer, okay. You have, thank you, Spirit. You have Pegasus in reverse, so why are you not taking flight? But you see it's a mirror image in the upright. In the reverse, it's a bit of a distorted image. So there's something you're not seeing properly, or there's some type of distortion you're not recognizing right now. Anything else for final messages? Concerning this, my water sign ladies, okay? Then you have the accepting the quest, but in the reverse. So you're not answering the call for your spiritual stuff or your business. Or um, I feel like maybe the divine is trying to tell you there is some type of distortion here, okay? There's some type of distortion you're not seeing, okay? Then you have the road to nowhere in the reverse. So you got to get moving is what it's saying, okay? You got to get moving, you're not on a road to nowhere. Think think highly. Think better of yourself, okay? Then you also have the warlock here. And with the Pegasus in reverse, and I'm seeing like this distortion, someone could be manipulating your view of reality right now. Or you could be doing that to somebody else. Someone could be literally manipulating your reality. Be careful of that. If you're doing that to somebody else, be careful because it will bring someone's downfall. Okay, someone might also be trying to burn evidence. So whatever that's about. Uh-huh. Um, not getting the affection and the attention that they need. Anything else, please? I think another sign had that. Or another uh, element had that as well. I can't remember exactly. Then you have the balance. Yes, there needs to be balance between work and play, but there also needs to be balance between the truth. Somebody needs to stop looking to the past and take off the blindfold. Someone's purposely blinding you where you can't see what you're doing or what's ahead of you or what's going on around you. Okay. You need to have victory. Be your own superhero or, well, superhero, superwoman, whatever it is for you, okay? So you will have victory, but you got to stand up for yourself, okay? All right. Again, the heroine and then victory. So like I just said, you are your own victor. Don't look for anyone else to save you. You have to be the one that saves yourself this time. And you are the ruler of, your, of, of the realm, okay? You are the ruler of your realm. Remember that. Anything else? Anything else, please? Thank you, Spirit. And make sure to look back and see the lesson in the in the situation if you choose. Now, this could also be applying to your person or whomever that you're dealing with. <clears throat> but remember to look back at the lessons that it was and try to see it for what it was that it was meant to grow you. Okay? Let's see. Anything else, please, Spirit? Let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, which is first this one let's see well lady of the autumn so it could be a scorpio energy here an alchemy in reverse so someone could definitely be uh, not using their abilities properly then you have the baroness here someone could be doing more of the shadow side or you yourself could be going through more of a shadow work butter bottom of the deck you got the butterfly queen so that's all about transformation so be the butterfly queen if you can try to transform your life Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it says calendar in reverse. So you do have time to do this. Don't rush yourself, okay? The book of destiny in reverse, it's okay. Whatever the situation is, it might not have been destined at this time. That doesn't mean that it won't be later or in possibly another life. But right now, it needs, it needs too much healing. Okay, you also have the gatekeeper. You are the gatekeeper of your own life. And you hold the gate. The gate. Um, 
you are the gatekeeper to your own heart, okay? You decide who comes in and who doesn't. Anything else about this, please, Spirit? The call. Answer the call. You're being called to a higher purpose, okay? Remember that. Okay? You're being called to a higher purpose. Okay? Well, let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit? They're saying yes. Okay. Okay, baby. Let's see. All right. Okay, Spirit. What messages? Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael, what messages do you have for my water signs, please? You have, do more research. It says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Okay? So you can do it. You can take care of yourself. And then you also have exercise is key. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me and guiding me to an exercise program that fits my schedule, interests, and budget. Okay, anything else, Archangels? Anything else? Archang Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, we'll take, okay, last three. That's all we're going to say. We have success. Congratulations, you did it. So whatever you've been working on, you are sub divinely supported, okay? You are also looked after, after Gabriel. Gabriel looks after you. Okay, this says detoxification. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for cleaning up my body, mind, and life so that I may happily and health and healthfully live free of chemicals. And then you also have unconditional joy. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. All right, my water sign ladies, that's what I got for you for the remaining of August. Until next time, take care.